Hey everybody, so I wanted to make this video really quick and I'm doing something I thought I would never do, I, I would hope I would never do, which is I'm doing a response video. <laughs> and it's not really a response video, it's more like a hijack video. I'm just going to hijack the fact that uh, DistroTube made a video about something that I happen to be working on uh, to kind of, I don't know, uh, respond, I guess. So if you know this channel, you obviously know DistroTube. Uh, he released this video a little while ago, a few days ago, called Are To-Do Applications Hindering Your Productivity? You can see the byline on the bottom says, Beware, To-Do Apps Hinder Your Productivity. And the reason why I wanted to respond is because the timing was so perfect. Obviously, I think he can, he can believe whatever he wants. That's fine. Clearly, I disagree with him. You can probably tell by the title of this video that I disagree with him. The day he released this video, I finished working on a project called TALIST, uh, which is, I guess what's the word for it, an acronym, abbreviation of to accomplish list, which is just my take on a to-do list. So long story short, there's a, let me go over to the terminal, there's a web application called Trello, which is free, it's totally fine in the docs for Talist, I call it out by name, nothing wrong with it, it's great, a lot of people I know use it, that's how I know about it, people encourage me to use it. The problem with it is, the problem for me with it is, I only use about 5% of the functionality on Trello. So it was pointless, me always having to have a browser pulled up to use this really bloaty web application that I was only using 5% of uh, the features of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my replacement for Trello. I'm not gonna show you Trello, you can just look that up, but basically, because what I'm about to show you is Trello just in the terminal. Um, but minus the, the complex features. Uh, so I'm gonna show you that how it works and then I'm going to talk about where I want to take this in the future and I guess I'll probably end by talking a little bit about my experience with to-do lists but I want this to be a quick video so we'll see how long it's been whenever we get there so let's go ahead and open up Talist so this is the thing I wrote to replace Trello the web application first of all I wanted it to be a CLI tool obviously uh, let's look here. So let's just talk about some basic features really quickly. You can move right and left with H and L, just like in Vim. Those are the Vim keys, of course. Um, all your main functionality is on your center row of keys. So if I want to add something to my home lab to do, oh wait, sorry, I should start there. Uh, like Trello, this is a list, a series of lists that are all categorized by however your brain thinks. So I have to do, to do today, done which is self-explanatory, home lab to do, classes to do, and then if I want to add more, we'll go over that in a little bit. But point is, this is how I kind of think, is I categorize these things, I try to accomplish at least one thing from each of these lists uh, a week, and then each morning when I have my coffee, I come to my to-do today list, and I move things onto that list, and then I go through them um, basically in that, uh, from there, I start there, let's say. So this is the basic functionality of Trello, but like I said earlier, Trello has a bunch of other stuff that I don't, I don't really care about. So to use this, I've already showed you how to move H and L, very straightforward. If I wanna add something to a list, let's add something to the home lab to do. You hit A, it brings up a prompt where you can type whatever you want. So let's just say whatever you want. Hit enter, it's added to the home lab to do. It's very straightforward. If I want to remove something from a list, let's go ahead and remove the thing we just added. I can hit D. And then I have, I'm prompted to enter the number of the item I want to delete. So that's just one, obviously, in this case. Very straightforward, very simple. And you can see the things I've gone over so far are in the top row help bar. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and show quit since that's the last thing before the actual help menu. So I've made it so if you hit Q lowercase, you're prompted if you want to quit. You can hit yes or no. I'm going to hit no. If you do uppercase, it's auto quit, just totally bypass the prompt and then quit. Let's go back into Talist. And then, as you can see in the top row, the last thing from the main help is if you hit question mark, you're given a more, I guess, fully featured uh, help menu. But from this, it's you can just hit any key to get out of it. It's that, it's that simple, doesn't matter. Any key gets you out of that. Uh, but you can see here there's only a few more features I've added, which are board creation or list creation and then editing of the items on the board so let's go ahead and go over that as well again sorry for going quickly uh, I wanted to get through this pretty fast so as you saw I only have five boards right now 
uh, and then one done board. So six in total. So to do, to do today, done, home lab to do, classes to do. Oh, sorry, that is five in total. I deleted one earlier. But if I want to make a new one, doesn't matter where I am in the list or in the uh, in the order here, I can just hit N for new. I'm prompted to enter the name of the new board. So this is a test board. And then if I go to the very end of the list, you can see this is a test board is there. I can add things to it. Uh, and then if I want to edit an item from a board, I can either hit E, which I've just hit now, and it tells me, uh, it prompts me to enter the number I want to edit. So let's say I want to edit one. And I want to capitalize the words I put in there. So let's do something else. You can see they're updated. And then if I, well, another way to edit, I can actually bypass hitting the E key altogether and just type the number itself. So if I just type 1, I'm given the exact same prompt. And if you want to get out of that without causing any error, you can just hit the, um, so if I hit 0, you can see the prompt there. It says enter XX to cancel. That just that's just a safe way to cancel without accidentally deleting. So like if I hit zero and I just hit enter, it actually clears that number. But if I had hit XX, it wouldn't have done that. So let's go ahead and put something back in this item. Great. To delete the board, all I have to do is hit X and I'm prompted. You will always be prompted. There's no way to force delete a board. By hitting X, it comes up yes or no. Obviously if I hit no, nothing happens. If I hit yes, it goes away and you're brought back to the last board on the list. Uh, so that's pretty much all the features of this, right? And like I said, if you look up Trello, if you use it, there's the biggest complaint people have about Trello is how you delete slash archive things. I think they've actually changed that in an update where deleting things is a little bit more straightforward. But oh, sorry, one thing that's really important is uh, move as well. I forgot about that. So that's how you move things from board to board. If you just hit M, you go to the board you want to go to and hit M you're prompted to enter the number of the item you want to move. In this case, there's only one number, of course, zero. And then you're given an, a, uh, a uh, I guess, a list of all the boards that you currently have, and they're assigned an alphabetical number. So if I want to move this to done, I'll just hit C. And then if we go to done, we can see it's, it's added there. But let's actually move that back, though, because uh, I'm not done with that. <laughs> uh, yes. So anyway. Those are all the basic features of Trello. Very straightforward, very easy to use in the CLI tool. Where do we want to go from here? What I want to do is I want to make this so it's formatted better. Obviously, the formatting is a bit of a nightmare on this. And I want to make it so all the lists, the reason why whenever I go to move, uh, the reason why these appear with alphabetical numbers at the beginning is because what I would like to do is I'd like to have it so all the lists are printed out all together. If they take up the whole terminal, you can scroll by using H and L instead of cycling. And then to edit a list, you can just enter its letter. To edit, to edit an item, you can just enter its number. Uh, I haven't, I'm going to move this to the same list. Uh, so that, that's why I've done that there. I could have done it with numbers both times, but I just want to go ahead and prepare that for the situation in which I, I do the switch over to where everything's printed all at the same time. Uh, additionally, like I said, the formatting is going to be a big deal, but also I want to make it so this is currently using SQLite 3, and I'd like to use a remote SQL server because then you can have multiple users using the same uh, board, basically the same Kanban board. And that's the real power of Trello that I haven't captured here. So to reiterate, this does everything Trello did that I cared about, but Trello does something other people care about that this does not accomplish, which is multi-user collaboration. I can make it do that by switching from a local SQL database in SQLite 3 to a remote database. I don't know how that'll affect performance, speed, etc. I know there's a lot of reading to be done about how to handle multiple users. Like, I don't know how MySQL does it. It does like some weird lock thing where if someone's editing something, no one else can edit it until something's committed. But I don't know how that works. I don't know how that'll affect user experience. But as far as this is concerned, Talist has completely replaced Trello for me. I have no need to go back. Uh, so I said I was going to end the video by talking a little bit about, you can tell I plan these really well, by talking about my experience with to-do lists. But I think I pretty much already covered that. Uh, I obviously disagree with DistroTube's point. I don't hate the video he made, and I actually think it's a really valuable 
uh, I think it's valuable advice to a lot of people because I've been that kind of person before. Thankfully, I'm not anymore where you set goals for yourself that can be unrealistic. You get excited when you see things written down. You get excited when you scratch things off your list. But you can overwhelm yourself. And and when you have a to-do list, it's difficult to remember that you need days to yourself to just play video games or go for a walk or read a book. It's really easy to forget that whenever you are constantly curating a to-do list. So don't be hard on yourself. If you would like to use Talist, remember it's written in NIM, which is a language I've only just learned for this project because I, I told myself I'd learn a language, a new programming language during COVID. Uh, but if you want to test this out and send some bug reports or tell me what I can change, that'd be cool. Let me know. Uh, DistroTube, sorry to invoke your name just for cheap views. <laughs> but um, I, I, I did like the video. I disagree, but the uh, video was good. That's all I have to say. Hopefully everyone listening is doing well. Thank you.